What's conflict? Conflict arises when uh, two or more people don't have the same opinion or view and they have a disagreement. And sometimes people feel that conflicts are a threat to them personally. You know, so that's why they, and we're going to see the different types of conflicts that arrive. And they can perceive, perceive, meaning that it might not be true, that the threat can be physical or emotional or mental. Interpersonal conflicts. Uh, what causes interpersonal conflicts? My needs and Jennifer's needs are not the same. You know, so there will be a conflict. Values, my values and Karen's value are not the same, so there would be conflict. Unresolved disagreement that we never, we had a disagreement that we never solved, so it kept festering in the dark and it became a problem. Feelings and emotion, when you ignore my emotions and my feelings, I'm not gonna care about your feelings and emotion. So next time something happens, conflict will arise. Underlying stress and tension, especially if you are really stressed at work, like Maria used to be. <laughs> Ego problem. Some people have such a big ego that it's like sometimes like you can just feel it. So that can constitute a conflict. And then the power. And the solutions for that conflict is basically an energy that is spent either positive or negative to build between individuals and groups. And we need to remember that conflicts are not always negative. Actually, you can take that negative situation and turn it into a positive. Because if you handle the conflict properly, you gain the front because they feel that you cared enough to clarify that. So in order to do that, there are five conflict styles based on Thomas and Kilman, and they are two scientists that were very big on, on what the, the types of conflicts are. The, that's okay. The first one is, the first conflict style is withdrawing, the turtle. When, when you remember a turtle, when, when, I say turtle, what comes to your mind? Tortoise and the hare. <laughs> yeah, that's one. What else? Slow. Slow, what else? The turtle hiding. Hiding, hiding. withdrawing. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to have a turtle as a pet when I was a kid, and the minute I go to feed it, it would just withdraw into inside the turtle. So that's a conflict side, withdrawing. You know, if, if I have a conflict with someone, they will just withdraw, and they won't care about what they want to achieve, they won't care about what I want to achieve, they won't care about any relationships, and they will just withdraw and run away. Because they feel that they will never win, and there is no value in any conflict, there is no meaning, so just let me withdraw and hunt. Okay? The second one is the shark. When I say shark, what comes to your mind? Aggressive. Attack. Aggressive, attacking. Meaning, I'm forcing someone to do anything I want. I care only about me, my own goals, and I don't care about anybody else. I don't care if you like me or you don't like me. As long as I'm getting what I want. It's my way or the highway. That's the shark. Then we have the teddy bear, smoothie. It's like, lovey-dovey, you know, I don't care about what I want, I'll give you what you want. That's a conflict style. But what if I always do what other someone else wants to do, not caring about my own needs, what will happen at the end? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, exactly. Then there is the fox, which is compromising, where it's um, a moderate concern of both my goals and the other person's goals. Moderate. So I would compromise, meaning I will give in something so they, they also can get something in return. And it depends how I'm going to do that, it can still leave resentment. You know, so. The last one is the owl, confronting. Confronting meaning if I care, I highly care about my own goals and with Monica's goals as well. So I'm going to work hard till I find a win-win situation where you don't feel you're given anything and I don't feel I've given anything. And this is the best way of confronting. This, uh, the best way of conflict is going the outside. So again, I want you to think for a second what